Serva Cinema presents Unmatched Resolution, Reproducibility and Sensitivity using the HPE Tower System and HPE 2D Gels. During the focusing of the IPG strips, place one electrode wick in each compartment of the paper pool. Soak one wick with 40 ml cathode buffer, the other with 40 ml anode buffer. The anode buffer is stained to avoid a mixed-up. Distribute the buffers evenly with the yellow roller. Avoid spilling blue buffer on cathode wick. Set the chiller to 15 degrees Celsius and turn it on. Apply the cooling fluid on the cooling plate in an H shape. For long-term storage of the stained and dried gel, the cover film can be used, so don't throw it away. Gel side up and pre-cast the slots towards yourself. Bend the gel and distribute the cooling fluid. Lower the gel sides until the gel is placed correctly on the cooling plate. Avoid air bubbles. Align the electrode wicks to the drawer's upper and lower edges. The wicks will overlap the gel by approximately 2 mm. Slide the drawer back into the unit to avoid dry. When the focusing of the IPG strips is finished, place the IPG strips gel side down into a pool. Equilibrate the strip with DTT solution for 15 minutes on an orbital shaker. Discard the buffer, and equilibrate the strip with IAA solution for 15 minutes on an orbital shaker. the strip into the pre-casted slot, gel side down and the nodal side to the right. Carefully and with low pressure slide over the strip's backing to ensure a good contact. Pipe it marker into the pre-casted marker slot. Apply the lid and connect the lid's plugs with the drawer's pins. Close the lid and start the run. The Blue Power Control Kit allows a live monitoring and records the run. After 70 minutes, pause the run. Remove the IPG strip. And 
proceed the run. When finished, remove the wicks and place the gel into a tray. Proceed with your staining protocol. Simply clean the cooling plate and electrodes with a water soaked cloth. Thank you for your attention. For further information, visit our website or send us an email.